So this will be the final update video for the EG4 8K inverter. I'm having some new issues that I need to tell you guys about. This is the third unit that I've had now, and in the last video I thought that I did not have the latest firmware, when in fact I actually did. So let's talk about what's been going on. In the last week, I've been able to charge my car, run mini splits, and everything has worked perfectly fine. We've had zero error codes, and it's been charging off solar autonomously without any intervention at all, which is fantastic. Now, once it started working, the first thing I wanted to test was the AC output capacity. So I connected my Tesla charger, and I cranked it up to 32 amps and it tripped it, it caused an overload. So I dropped it to 30 amps, it still tripped it. I dropped it down to 29 amps, it still tripped it. Once I hit 28 amps, it was working perfectly again. And I found that strange, so I told Signature Solar and we figured out that when you do not use closed loop communication protocol and you use the lead acid settings with the lithium battery, it will reduce the output. And in my case, it reduced it to 90%. So Signature Solar got some new firmware to fix this issue. And I loaded it up on my computer, I connected it with a USB cable, and the firmware update worked perfectly fine. It showed that it completely it showed that there was zero errors and so after it was done I disconnected it and then I tried to turn it back on again but then the AC output would not turn on it said that the battery voltage was at zero and it wasn't charging from solar even though solar is available so they actually checked out the unit remotely and they said that one of the firmware updates did not work so I connected my computer again I tried the new files and then I tried the old files I tried every configuration and every single time on the .out firmware, it goes to 14 or 15 percent and then it stops and it shows that there's zero errors but there's also zero data that's actually going into the unit and it is not responding to anything I do. I have tried shutting this down, I even disconnected it from the battery, I tried different configurations of it on and off, it still stays on when a battery is connected and I can't turn it off with the button and it will not charge from solar and the AC output will not turn back on again. Um, I'm trying everything I can. I have showed them pictures of every single thing I'm doing. Um, it's very simple, this firmware update. The software worked very easily, but for some reason, one of the firmware is not working. They said that they could ship me out another one, but that would be the fourth unit. Um, I've had issues on the first one. I had software issues on the second one. This is the third unit with the latest firmware, and now I can't even get the firmware to work, and so now it won't even turn on. This thing is a brick right now. So I think I've given it a very solid shot with most all-in-ones like the 6548s or a 6500 EX or the LVX, all of those. I put it on the wall, I turn it on, it works. This one does not work. The software is just insane. I have tried literally everything. And I thought, hey, maybe my viewers were right. One of my viewers was mad and he said, why didn't you update the firmware? It actually was updated. This is the most recent unit with the latest firmware every single time and in the last video. So yeah, I, I cannot get it to work. If you wanna prove me wrong and buy one and show me a video of you making this thing work, I would love that. But for me, I am not having good luck with this unit. Um, I've had bad luck with the first unit, like really bad luck. That was the actual hardware fault. And it's on the other side of my um, shop right now. Now I need this unit to charge my car and run the air conditioner and do everything else. So I'm gonna take this off of my wall and make a temporary system because I'm gonna build a new system with a new all-in-one, um, hopefully next week. Now maybe in a year or two, they'll have the software down and everything will work, but for now, absolutely not. So I need to move on. I've spent so many days and weeks on this unit, on multiple units, and I still haven't been able to get it to work, so I'm going to give up. Um, I can't imagine somebody living off-grid having to depend on this thing and having these issues. Um, if you buy an LV6548, you turn it on, you change a couple settings, it works for months. You don't have to change anything, no firmware updates, no nothing. Parallel communication, everything works out of the box. With this one, I have had I mean, how many error codes have I had now? At least six now? I can't even remember, I can't. Even, I lost count. So anyways, I'm moving on. I'm gonna build a different system. I'm so glad to take this off my wall. Once this is off the wall, I'm gonna feel less stress in my life. So thank you so, so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video when I rebuild this whole thing because I think it should be pretty cool. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one, bye.